Hey guys, it's Nate from playercourt.com. Today I'm going to show you how to disguise your slice serve. All right guys, today we're talking about how to disguise your serve and this instruction is for player court members with a rating of 70 and up, a little bit more advanced. If you're not familiar with the membership, check out the comment section. The very first comment is going to be a link to check out the membership for free. All right, so disguising the slice serve. Most of us know how to serve, hit a slice serve by tossing off to the side of our body. The problem with that method is that at an Excel level, it becomes fairly obvious to your opponent. So you need to disguise the serve. So what we're talking about today is tossing like you're kicking, like you're going to hit a kick serve, but then in fact hitting a slice serve. And this disguise makes this serve deadly. I'm going to share analysis with you today of Ryan Charles, uh, a D1 player from George Mason, disguising his slice serve by tossing as if he's hitting a kick serve. In time, we want the ability to work through the hand in order to impart spin on the ball. With the ability to manipulate the racket face, you have access to all the spins regardless of where you're tossing the ball. Here, Ryan is serving on the deuce court, and as you can see, he initiates the toss with his arm parallel to the baseline. This is a more advanced method, but it assists in the ability to disguise the serve. As the ball drifts behind him close to an 11 o'clock position, Ryan is arching his back, which is assisted from the knee bin, and allowing the ball to fall onto his strike zone. By doing this, he can still find the outside of the ball and produce the slice necessary to place the ball out wide in the service box. The serve does have a little top spin, hence the bounce of the ball at the end, but it also has enough slice to help the ball break away from the opponent. Important to note is the direction of Ryan's momentum out into the court and in the direction of the target. We'll get back to the coaching in just a second, but first, we really appreciate you watching our channel, and as a thank you, we want to give you our three-part Serve Mastery video course for free. This course will turn your serve into a massive weapon, and we normally sell it for 100 bucks. but if you stick around to the end of this video, we'll give it to you for free. All right, let's get back to the coaching. In this second demo, Ryan is serving to the ad court. The slice T is particularly effective due to the prominence of the kick serve out wide to the backhand. This being the weaker side, most opponents are gonna be looking for the ball towards their backhand. The serve mechanisms are the same as the deuce court, but what you'll notice is that Ryan's momentum still leads in the direction as it did on the deuce court. We saw that in the previous example with Ryan serving to the deuce court. This allows him to find the outside of the ball and hook the ball to the center of the service box. With the returner reading a kick serve to the backhand, it leads the center box vulnerable, making this a great serve to have in your arsenal. All right, guys, really hope you enjoyed that analysis today and it helps the disguise on your slice serve. Don't forget, we left you some good stuff down in the comments section. If you want to get that serve mastery course for absolutely free, be sure to check it out. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. It helps us a ton and share the video. Maybe it would help with one of your friends. We'll see you next time.